Good morning. I'm in Baku again, but it might actually be my last day here, so just stop out to try and see as much stuff as possible. So yeah, I'm gonna go find a bus. So as you guys might know, I have a bit of a thing for Soviet mosaics. So when I heard that there was a huge mosaic wall to be found in Baku, I just had to check it out. It was pretty amazing to see with five panels of brightly coloured and detailed images made of thousands of tiles. And it was in really good condition as well. That was insane. I think that was the best one I've seen so far. I decided I wanted a break from the city traffic and the noise. So I got on a bus and I headed to somewhere a little bit more peaceful. Well, I've just arrived at this really big park. It was a little bit of a mission to get here, so I'm kind of looking forward to just chilling here for a little bit. It looks really nice. I don't think we're gonna have any like Turkish level landscaping though, but yeah, it seems really nice. There's lots of trees, lots of shade. Just time to relax. I think there's a viewpoint at the top as well. such a strange park it's literally just like a hill <laughs> I'm hoping there might be somewhere to get a coffee Normally I would try and go to a botanical garden. As far as I know, Baku does have one, but I think it's closed down. So I would have gone, but yeah, I don't really want to go all the way there only to find it's closed. So yeah, this will have to do. Wow, check out this dragon. It's like steampunk. That's so cool. I'm going to try and find a coffee and a place to sit for a bit. Oh, the coffee shop looks like it might be closed. Yeah, that is pretty closed. Let's have a look at the view anyway while we're here. Well, there is the port. Wonder where all those ships are going. Across the Caspian Sea to Kazakhstan. Turkmenistan, all these amazing places that I will go to. Watch this space. Well, there's hardly any people here and I think it's because of the heat and because it's on a hill, so people can't really be bothered. It's very hot today. It's a really nice park though, but not quite on the level of the Turkish ones that we went to. I think I got a bit spoiled there because they were so beautiful. They're more like gardens to be honest than park. It's a nice spot to chill though. Shame about the coffee, I'm going to have to go out and get one somewhere else. Maybe some lunch actually because it is almost lunchtime now and I am pretty hungry. So yeah, I think I'm just going to chill for a bit here and then we'll go see what we can find. So 
this point I was absolutely starving so I got myself a nice big glass of Iram and a cheese llama chun which is a bit like a very thin pizza and it's served with herbs and wedge of lemon on top. Well, I ended up taking another bus across town to see another mosaic, but unfortunately, someone had very selfishly built a building pretty much on top of it. I'll show it to you anyway. Now, I was pretty gutted. I couldn't really get a good look at this mosaic. It's very clearly cosmonaut themed, and I'm sure it's absolutely stunning. But I'm glad I got to see at least a little bit of it anyway. But for now, I just bought myself one of those because I can't be bothered to try and find a cafe now. And I need the caffeine, so yeah, I'll just drink that and then I'll figure out what to do. It's only two o'clock, so I think I'm going to get another bus and see if I can find another mosaic somewhere. So I'll take a walk over there in a minute. Eventually a bus heading in the right direction arrived, so I got on and I kept my fingers crossed that the next mosaic would make up for the last one. And here it is, neglected on a street corner, almost hidden behind this disused fountain is what would have once been a beautiful Technicolor mosaic telling some kind of story. But it's long since been forgotten about and left to fall into disrepair, but you can see how beautiful it would have been. What a shame, that mosaic's just been left to like rot. I'm sure it would have been super beautiful back in the day. Anyway, I think I'm gonna head back to the hostel now so I'll catch up with you guys a bit later on. Okay, well it's been a few hours. I'm gonna head over to Nizami Street and get some food. I also wanna buy a bracelet because I get one in every country that I go, so I hope I can find one. Well, I can't think of a better place to spend my last evening in Baku than Nizami Street. And first of all, I needed to find some dinner. I just got a somewhat healthy wrap, as the main reason I really came here was just for the dessert. I wanted to celebrate my last evening by having a kanafa. And this one did not disappoint. It had a generous topping of pistachios and it came with a little pot of kaimak or cream and a pot of syrup so it didn't end up being too sweet. It was amazing. After dinner it was time to go on a little search for my souvenir and this is the bracelet I bought to remind me of my time here. I just got back, now I've got some packing to do so that gives you a little bit of a hint about what 
the next video might be. I'm not going to say too much because I don't want to jinx it. But thank you for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.